Welcome to a series of video tutorials covering ImageLine's Subtractive Synthesizer, Harmless. As I just mentioned, Harmless is a subtractive based synth with a twist. Harmless works with an additive synth engine, giving you the basis of a subtractive synth sound with the characters of an additive synth. Why does Harmless work in this manner? Simply because it gives you the ability to create unique sounds that are typically not possible with a subtractor synthesizer. Just like all subtractive synths, sound is generated by an oscillator, which is controlled with the timber section of the instrument, which we'll take a close look at in a later video. And the sound is then shaped and tweaked with the filters and phasers, which have unusual sound characteristics as they can be tuned using a frequency as opposed to only being defined in octave steps. The use of these unusual shapes in the filters and phasers are what make up the additive engine of Harmless. In this video, we are going to perform a quick overview look at the instrument and its interface. We will go into further details regarding each section in their corresponding chapters in later videos. Along the top of the synth is where we find the timber section. As mentioned, the timber section controls the oscillators which are responsible for the sound generation of the synth. Along with the oscillator, the timber section also has a few filters and other tweakable controls that allow you to further shape the sound generated by the oscillator. Again, we'll take a closer look at these controls in later videos. Also along the top of the synth, we have the amp section. This section will allow you to shape the output of the instrument's sound by controlling things such as volume and pitch. Moving down to the middle section of the synth, we have various controls that are used to again add character and tweak the sound that is generated by the oscillator in the timber section. Some of these perimeters contain a phaser, a filter, a harmonizer, a unison, and an LFO. Of course, we'll be taking a more detailed look at each of these sections later on. Along the bottom, we have some of the standard DSP effects that are often used during the mixing stage of a production. We have a chorus, a delay, a reverb, and a compressor. By having these DSP effects built directly into the instrument, removes the need to use external plugins within your host application. And again, we'll be looking at each of these effects later on in later videos. Along the bottom of the instrument is the hint bar. This area will display a hint for each parameter and control as you place your mouse over top of it. And this applies to most controls in the harmless interface. Also at the bottom in the right hand corner is the preset select menu. Simply click on the menu to open up a list of presets that can be used as is or as a starting point for your own sound creation. You can also use the left and right arrows to scroll up or down the preset list. The preset list may look different depending on your host as well as if you're running the instrument in standalone mode or with your host application. You can also set the instrument to its default state which gives you a great starting point for creating your own sounds. And that takes care of the instrument's interface overview. In the next chapter, we'll begin our look at the sound generation with Harmless with a timber section.